for us, I, I, I think that we did this, someone, someone needed to do it. Whether it's us, whether it's the next brewery or whether it's an association, uh, this needed to start. Mm -hmm. Look what it's done in you know one forum, mainly on social media, uh, with people who are in the industry, whether yeah. for positive or negative. Now, so generated a lot of conversation. The mm -hmm. word is the word is coming to life. Yeah. And now we're asking, you know, this this interview is generated to ask what does independence mean? Yeah. Which is what we are mm -hmm. trying to allow others to ask. Are you a brewhead? I'm a brewhead. Are you a brewhead? I'm a brewhead. Y'all a brewheads? Yeah, we brewheads. So pour a glass of craft beer. We can do this. Yeah. What's good, y'all? This is C-Certified Brewhead. Welcome to a brand new segment here on BAOS. We're calling Industry Talk. Uh, I'm here with Mike and Keegan of Microbrasserie Catherine Jean. How you fellas doing? Good, good, man. Chilling. Very good. Happy to be here. Wednesday afternoon. That's Kind of sunny. <laughs> sunny yeah. enough. So, it's been an interesting uh, time. You guys are doing something pretty cool. Uh, we want to talk about that in, uh, in a bit more detail. There's been some online chatter uh, over the last, what, since probably the weekend? Um, about what you guys are doing and I uh, thought this is a good opportunity to, to sort of hash it out in person. So do you want to give us a breakdown on what you're doing? Yeah. Well, essentially this, this chatter started by, uh, we made a social media post yep. about this subject that we're, that we're working on, that we're, we're trying to get public knowledge, increase awareness, and that is a independent seal. Okay. This is something that we were waiting to kind of unleash until we had our bottles. Um, the reason for that is because we only opened a month ago, as, as you know, and uh, the tap room, you know, it allows us to reach people on spot at the brewery. Yep. Uh, but in terms of getting a message past like the four walls of the brewery itself, uh, you need that, that bottle, that distribution angle. Uh, so we waited to put the seal on the bottle, uh, knowing that this will go out to the public, right. uh, who the seal is intended to. Now, this idea of the independent seal, uh, it's it's relatively new here uh, in terms of actually seeing it a visible seal yes. the word independence I don't think is new on any degree uh, but actually kind of shoving it in people's faces rather than a more subtle approach is new mm -hmm. uh, a lot of countries now have actually adopted the seal full throttle yes. I and mean, we were saying that so yeah so the US Canada uh, sorry US and Australia UK France and there's one more yeah and there, so there's five Germany. exactly yeah. so there's 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 five total now okay uh, so Is you know what you guys were inspired by you were inspired by seeing what these guys are doing and absolutely felt that we needed something yeah. out here oh, yeah. yeah okay I think it's a uh, I think that idea, that inspiration comes from the camaraderie that you get from yep. these associations from these countries these 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 breweries that are kind of coming together and fighting for the greater good of, of the craft, mm -hmm. uh, which is, you know, where we decided we wanted to do something locally uh, and hopefully beyond. Right. Uh, the industry has been going through rapid amount of growth, change, yes. uh, consolidation in the craft brewing industry over the last, we'll call it even 10 years, it's just been really bombarding in the last five, has just skyrocketed. Yeah. Uh, creating at the same time the actual desire want need for craft beer has also skyrocketed making it so that the number of brands uh, the number the availability of craft beer has increased which is yeah. amazing for the consumers uh, but then again with all the purchases that kind of line is more blurred than ever yeah. into who is who you okay. know not for guys like me you and Keegan uh, but for the general public who are tr trying to convert to craft beer drinkers mm -hmm. okay so do you, so the I guess one of the main inspirations, aside from seeing what the other guys are doing, is, is sort of like the education. Like you want people to make a, an educated decision when they're in a depot or wherever they may be. I guess this is, and just to clarify, this is specifically for Quebec for now. Yeah. 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 Um, so that was one of the main pillars, I guess, was that education that you you wanted to sort of people can grab a, a packaged beer and look at them. Like, oh, this is independent, mm -hmm. so they don't get the Goose Islands and Archibald and. Mill yeah. Street and such, and think it's so craft or whatever. Exactly. I mean, a lot of the people who are passionate about craft beer know, typically know which breweries are independent and which ones are not. Yes. So the the educated consumer. The educated consumer. Yeah. Uh, like maybe I'd say, based on uh, sales volumes, I think now it's estimated around ten percent of sales of, of beer, craft beer. Yeah. So I'm in thinking Canada? in Quebec. In Quebec. Oh yeah. wow. That's the number I, I hear get thrown around. There's no actual Nielsen data, which yeah, is Nielsen be, tracking. Be better, right? We don't yeah. get it, but a lot of newspapers, the AMBQ also has stated this number a couple of times. So 
Um, this is the, the market share right now of craft beer. So in general, 10% of uh, beer drinkers are typically educated craft beer drinkers. So, But okay. this seal is made for more than 90% of people who are not as educated as that 10% okay. who, who are not uh, on the shelf able to identify who's local and who's not, who's yeah. craft beer and who's not the other way. So we wanted to, like in the US and the other countries, to make something, a symbol that helps people make that choice. Right. If it's important to them, if it's not, so be it. Cool. But if they're looking to support a local brewery, a craft brewery, keep the the dollars that they're spending in the small community that they choose, mm -hmm. uh, why not have this symbol to, to help them out? Okay. Right, perfect. So, um, some of the, uh, the the online chatter um, sort of surround, there's a few sort of questions that people had uh, from you guys. So, one of the things was, why did you not work directly with the AMBQ, which is it's the Association of Micro Bastard in Quebec? Mm -hmm. So, it's kind of like the, the, the Quebecois. Uh, overall governing body of microbreweries and sort of what determines whether you're a micro or blah, 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 independent essentially. Um, why did you not work with them? Well, we last year we reached out to them uh, on three or four different occasions uh, by phone. Okay. We got an answer that it was going to be their quality seal that they've spent, I think, so they've been working on it since 2007 and I think two breweries got finally got the quality seal went through the quality program which is about 10 to 15 steps I believe on okay. quality analysis inspection so uh, and you have to pay consultants and stuff like that to go through that program right uh, it's pretty lengthy and expensive this is what they wanted the independent seal to be they said if you have the quality seal people will know you're independent so that's right. the answer we got Okay. Uh, we spoke to some other breweries after the uh, conference, the, the microbrew conference mm -hmm. last year, I think it was in November, yeah. and they all told us the same thing, that the MBQ was leading towards the quality seal. And over an independent seal. Correct. And why did they put any reasons out? Why they, uh, they didn't really give us a, a, a reason at all. I, th um, I, think it, I think the meaning was, uh, it meant to be kind of a, a dual meaning, uh, but where in order to get that dual meaning, which is one seal, you had to pass by the craft, uh, the quality rules. Mm -hmm. Where if by definition, the word quality uh, and independence are, are not the same. And, you know, we are focusing on the word independence. Uh, and, you know, quality is, is something that I think so every group... subjective group, it's maybe? Subjective and it, it's not, uh, I guess it, for us, it wasn't the meaning of what we wanted to do. Okay. It, it was really, a, again, that educating of the consumer. Uh, quality can be measured in many different ways. Mm. It, independence can also be measured in many different ways. We could talk about criteria later. Yeah. Uh, but the word independence means means one thing. It means that you are apart from a larger group, right? And to us, this larger group are the macro breweries that mm. own, right now, the larger percent of the market share. Yes. Okay. Um, so basically they just weren't willing to sort of work with you guys that were kind of doing their own thing and you guys didn't, that wasn't sort of the direction that you felt. Mm -hmm. um, do you know how many, and also something you guys mentioned earlier that uh, only breweries who are members of the AMBQ can in fact get that quality seal, is that correct? Or is that for anybody? It was a question we had. Yeah, I'm not, I'm really not entirely sure. I think uh, as a non-member you can go through the quality program, I think. Uh, it's just the independent seal that they, in their pro, in their quality independent program, was not something that they specified would be available to non-members because, and this okay. comes back to criteria. If you're part of the AMBQ, you're by default an ind uh, independent brewery. Okay. Pretty much. Um, so they said if you're part of the AMBQ, that's the only way we'll be able to know. If you're truly independent, and you have to pass their criteria, is yeah. that similar to the American criteria, like 25% ownership, X amount of barrels? They don't years, mention so. anything about ownership, but there is something about um, production, production volume. So it's if you're a single brewery, if you're, it, you have to make under 500,000 hectoliters, okay. which I believe is about uh, 350,000 barrels. 
my, my calculation may be a bit off, but it's around there. Yeah. Uh, and then if you're owned by an outside entity it has that sells in many different countries, you have to be producing under 1 million uh, hectoliters. A so, year. so it's pretty big. Archibald or Truviab might be able to come under that or not? Would they not? I don't think so because Archibald is owned by Labatt that produces way more than a million hectoliters. Oh, the parent company has Yeah, the oh, parent yeah. company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. should be a consolidated amount. Like, yeah, uh, I believe yeah. so, yeah. But because okay. we, as, as Keegan said, the because that ownership criteria um, isn't as explicit as other countries' seals and criteria that they've produced, um, you know, we're, it's, we're not exactly clear on that. Right. And, you know, I think that that's one of the main reasons before we say that, you know, no one, someone didn't want to work with who is why we decided to, to pursue this independent word, this independent seal is because for us that control, that percentage, yep. specifically in Quebec is the big, the line that is blurred is who right. owns who. who owns what? It's who's a subsidiary of who. And, you know, the way that bars, restaurants, and, you know, those, those different mediums to reach consumers works here, mm -hmm. uh, that blurred line needs to be unblurred. Gotcha. So, so, so did you guys reach out to other breweries um, to collaborate with them, or was this something that was kind of like, a, uh, you know, an indi like independent, I was going to say, or did you guys just figure that we could put something out there and hopefully others would be interested in adopting uh, what you're doing? Uh, we reached out to some breweries, but we didn't really go into the details of like what we were doing. We asked them if there was something that could interest them. Okay. Uh, one of them said yes, the other one said no. Um, and then we just kind of went on our own on our own way. Yeah. Uh, it became less of a priority uh, after a certain amount of time, but then when Tutsiyav got bought, that's when we said we had to move a lot and faster. Move. Yeah. Okay. So. And they were already well established. I don't know if we could put it on their label. Uh, so we for sure wanted to do it on our bottles. Uh, this is not something that we want to keep closed off to anybody and yes. make it just ours. If people are interested to use it, uh, that's more than, than fine. We're not going to charge anything for it. Okay. Right yeah. now, it would be a little bit of an honor system, which means that if you're an independent brewery, uh, by definition set up by the AMBQ, because they do have a definition of what an independent brewery you guys is. You would essentially adopt that. Yeah, okay. correct. Um, I mean, obviously, if Labatt was going to put it on one of their brands, they would get ostracized in public anyway. So I don't think they're that dumb enough to do that. Right. Um, so, I mean, if someone approached you guys wanting to use the seal, which, so, yeah, just to be clear, that was my next question. Can yeah. anybody use it? So yeah, of course. Yes, any brewery can yeah. use it. If mm -hmm. they wish, there's nothing, it's none of your branding on there. It says, no. No. It's essentially, Quebec, independent Quebec yeah. microbrewery. Yeah. Um, so... Is there, I guess, because if anyone could just take it, does that mess with the integrity of it? Like, would there be a way that you guys could check? Well, I mean, I guess you could look it up. If this brewery reaches out to you, I mean, I guess it's pretty open book on who's who, right? Yeah. Kind of yeah. I mean, let's be honest, too. I mean, uh, right, the only reason that this conversation started is because we made, again, a very subtle post online, not saying, hey, guess what? Miko Bogoski, Katsaki Jin is now an independent brewery. Uh, we ask, we ask people, did you notice that we have this on our bottle? And the reason we did it like that is to gauge interest at the same time, whether it be from public, from craft beer amateurs, or other breweries. Right. And uh, you know, I want to go to education for a second of the public because yep. you know that's the main reason that we did this. Um, that 90% that Keegan alluded to previously, mm -hmm. those are the people we're trying to educate. Uh, one of the reasons that we put thought into the way that the seal looks and we put one of the most iconic images in the beer industry on that uh, from a craft perspective, which is a fermenter, yeah. right? Uh, it's not like a bottle uh, or, you know, more of a kind of yeah, abstract a shape. Pint glass. And exactly. Stuff, yeah. uh, the reason we did that is because how much we care about education. Right. So those, those 90%, they don't necessarily know what a fermenter is. So instead of putting a bottle or a pint glass, we went a little added step further into our world and said, hey, what is this? We thought it might, you know, catch people eye. It might gauge their interest to, to learn more about it and start asking questions. Gotcha. Um, so some people were saying they felt it came across like a marketing push for you guys, even though technically there's no market doesn't 
doesn't, you know, it's a, it's a seal of independence, but I guess they're trying to say that you guys pushing the messages and marketing push uh, for you guys. How do you feel about that? Well, I think it's more of like a message for all of craft beer in general. Like we're trying to push beer in general, not just, it wasn't just for our brand. Um, these are, in, it's for independent microbreweries. It's for people who uh, want to purchase beer uh, from independent breweries, mm -hmm. uh, they want to support the local communities uh, as much as possible. Yep. Um, and they they want to vote with their with their purchases. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much why the seal was made. Uh, when it comes to a marketing perspective, as I mentioned to you before, when they say marketing, it's kind of like a negative light uh, already. But marketing is a way to communicate a message and our message with the seal was that craft beer is important mm -hmm. and uh independence to us is even more important when it comes to the craft beer uh landscape in general right because when tuziziav got bought uh that shocked us heavily yeah, that um, and uh, it was a huge disappointment it's great for them but for craft beer here in quebec it's becoming uh an issue uh, the lines are getting muddled a little bit. There's some there's some people that are getting into craft beer for the first time mm -hmm. and thinking that Tuzuziab is a local independent like brewery. Yeah. yeah. Which they do have a pub, but it's not them making the actual beer. Um, so to me if it if it's somebody who wants to get into craft beer and is interested because they want to support a local company, a small business and the entrepreneurs behind it, uh, and they think it's amazing beer, then they should know what they're buying it's about giving them choice more than anything right yeah. okay so um, being that I guess one of the pushbacks I'm just thinking of what people were saying online so mm -hmm. just trying to you know, personally answer the questions one of them sure. was uh, actually the only one I could think of from a brewer he was to say he wasn't happy that the AMBQ was charging for stuff like that so it is pretty cool that you guys aren't charging for that have you had any um, breweries reach out to you being interested in using it as yet uh, not no. reach out, but I did have conversations after with a couple other brewers. I don't want to name names no, no, right now, name just. Names. Uh, but I did have uh, two breweries that are interested uh, to see what we want to do with it later on, to see okay. if we could work together on on something. We're totally open to that. Right. We're we're not saying this is our seal. It's not going to change. Like take it or leave it. If somebody has like something constructive to put into it and think it's going to better the message, then yeah, absolutely. Say. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, for us, I, I, I think that we did this, someone someone needed to do it. Whether it's us, whether it's the next brewery, or whether it's an association, uh, this needed to start. Mm -hmm. Look what it's done in you know one forum, mainly on social media, uh, with people who are in the industry. Whether yeah. for positive or negative now. So generate the, a lot of conversation. The, mm -hmm. word is, the word is coming to life. Yeah. And now we're asking, you know, this, this interview is generated to ask what does independence mean, yeah. which is what we are trying to allow others to ask. Uh, for us, I mean, education, right, is people asking questions are the way that, you know, answers are created. Yeah. And we, we'd rather that, you know, people are asking questions, are curious and want to learn more than, you know, ignorance filling the market or, or people keeping their head down. Yeah. So... Um, was there a reason you guys did Quebec only and not on a Canadian scale? Because I, I assume, so you mentioned earlier, I wasn't aware even if there is a Canadian brewery association. I don't association. think so, no. I, there I, is I, one? I don't, uh, there is, oh, there one, is one, but okay. I think it's just uh, the larger brewers, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so there's I, no governing I, body like the American Brewers Association? It, there's no Craft Brewers Canadian really? Association. Is I, that? No. That's weird. Yeah, it is weird. <laughs> there's a like, Master Brewers Association. Uh, but I difference? think that's for Actual brewers. brewers that, yeah. Uh, yeah. So like brewers are kind of a part of it. Uh, I think Braden is a part of it, our, our brewer. Um, and okay. it's more and they kind of have technical discussions yeah. on beer. Uh, oh. But there's no like association out there that defends the interest of craft beer in Canada. I Damn. think the reason is because the borders are so difficult to cross. Oh, and the, yeah, it doesn't make sense. Is, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Okay. A, it's a very difficult... Uh, like, I think... Quebec breweries have an easier time exporting to the U.S. than they do to Ontario. I uh, wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, because there's uh, hardly anything out there. Yeah, <laughs> and vice versa. There's nothing. Oh, here. there's no Ontario Literally breweries just, here just except bros. Bros. It's and they extremely got difficult. Through, yeah. yeah, they. I think they spend fifty thousand dollars. It took them fifteen months, I believe, just to get paperwork done. Yeah, to yeah. get yeah. them in there. Like, it's, it's just nice. absurd. It's invisible lines. Like it's so yeah. dumb. It's invisible okay. lines, but you know that the independence line is also invisible, right? 
and you know we're what we're trying to do is make it visible so. right so where where to from here so it's out there it's generated some chatter you know a, a mix of responses hopefully you know hearing you guys sort of you know, express your intent i mean i've met you guys before we've done the podcast it, you guys seem very um, authentic about this like there's no ulterior motives um you know you guys just want to push independent beer in Quebec and you know it's coming from a, a real organic place authentic place and I think it's I think it's a cool concept it's something that's valuable for consumers particularly the newer ones like we were saying that people like us don't really need to be told but you know maybe there are people who might go and try and think Archibald oh they can it's pretty cool and yeah. then not realize you know, who owns them and maybe that makes a difference for them yeah. um, so what's what's the sort of next steps how do you guys see this panning out I mean, there's a lot of different ways it could go. Uh, the, you know, we obviously don't want to be um, uh, set aside because of this. Yeah. Like this was not. We our our main goal is to grow craft beer at the same rate that the U.S. is growing their craft beer and get to the same volumes that they're getting. You know, per capita. Right. Um, which is not the case right now it's growing but it's not as like over there when you go to people it's like almost second nature for them to, to go towards craft beer instead of the, the bigger beers right yeah by no means are we saying don't drink mass produced beer well i'm saying no yeah i mean yeah. if you like budweiser that's fine like i'm not gonna force you to drink craft beer right like it's not uh like we just think craft beer is way better it's more authentic uh, craft brewers are more likely to give back to their local communities. They're inefficient. Uh, it's it's a good thing and a bad thing, but it's mm -hmm. it, they're inefficient. So they're they're employing way more people than the big breweries are. Um, uh, we're way cooler, I think. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we our, our goal is to is to grow craft beer to that thirty percent market share. That's my that's our personal goal to get there. Right. Uh, and we want to hopefully get there with as many other brewers as possible. It's um, a collaborative effort. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean it, it's kind of it, you know we did this kind of on our own, but we do want to get as many other people uh, involved. It doesn't have to be on our seal, but we do want to get as many people involved in this process as possible. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah I think one thing we could say is that we won't stop informing people uh, about what we, the values that we stand for, mm -hmm. which is, you know, getting getting craft the market share it deserves here yep. and beyond. We could say that this is Quebec now. Um, that's also an administrative and um, gestion type of thing. Uh, to think about going beyond the provincial border is not it's not magical, especially if we stand alone at the moment. Uh, yeah. But eventually, I think we'd love to say as proud as it's a Canadian seal as as it's a it's mm -hmm. a Quebec seal. Fantastic! So that's yeah. a good start. So I mean, so breweries like basically just like if any brewers are watching or breweries are interested, most certainly, you know, you guys are very receptive to anyone reaching out. Absolutely, absolutely. To, to talk about we're, it. We're going to do our effort to reach out to, to as many of them as well yeah uh over the course of time see what they Close think some of the festivals like exactly. it's gonna be more yeah, opportunities yeah, absolutely. and stuff yeah I mean, okay uh, good so like the conversation the communication's open so yeah exactly. please reach out to the guys and you know if you want to get in touch it's pretty easy hit them up on social really that's yeah. it you got your <laughs> idea um did we cover everything you feel fairly that's i think pretty so good? yeah 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 so I, did, yeah, yeah. The, Guillaume, uh, the Guillaume who started yeah, the, the, the shoot, Jedi. awesome guy. Shout out to Guillaume. Be nice to him. <laughs> yeah, he was like, he was a G man. He thugged it out. He was responding yeah. to everybody. I, I very much enjoyed. But you the, know what? That guy loves craft beer, and he, he just wants to help craft beer. He's not like, uh, you know, the no, conversations like, were getting a little bit intense, and I, I was yeah, following were. it. I'm like, oh man, he's but he puts up with it. He's very strong, and he's uh, like, strong character. But yeah. he, he was very respectful too. Uh, but yeah, it, it was, was a just, good conversation. Like, depending, yeah, it regardless of how you look at it, yeah, it's it, it, yeah, it's bigger picture versus like yeah. that post, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, 100 percent. And that that got it going, and then you know, people feel a certain way, and then okay, cool. Well, like this, hopefully, this addresses most of their concerns. And if there are any other concerns, please leave a comment. Hit up the guys directly. Yeah. Yeah, you absolutely. know, this is a completely open thing, and like, we want to be part of this conversation as well. I think it's fascinating. I think it's cool what you're doing, and uh, definitely want to see this grow. 
So, gentlemen, thank you so much. Cool, man. Appreciate thank it. You, thank you. Thank you for helping me uh, start a new segment. This is Absolutely. fun. Absolutely. So, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, chuck some big fat thumbs ever. up into the drill. Best ever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> leave a uh, hit subscribe yeah. below. Leave a comment as well, please. I want to hear what you guys think about it. Whether you're in this, it doesn't matter where in the world you are. I want to hear what you guys think about this seal and about uh, independence in uh, craft beer. Um, follow us on social media. I did, did I say that at the AOS podcast. I didn't say that. Follow us on social media, and of course, check out the long form audio. You can hear these fellas a few episodes back on uh, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your talking media. That is it, y'all. Cheers. Get it in ya.